Marvel fans, yesterday we were bombarded with crazy announcements about upcoming MCU projects going into production in 2023. That's a lot of information to get in 30 seconds. I want to do a deep dive on all of these different projects and sprinkle in a little bit of that tasty speculation. Do it. What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Avengers Tower, as per usual. And man, I just want to say we have been having an absolute blast over on the live streams, over on our live streaming channel. If you haven't been checking those out, you are seriously missing out on some fun, nerdy content. And yes, even though we did talk about a lot of these different reports that came out yesterday on a stream last night, I wanted to do a video breaking down sort of in a succinct way all of the different things that came out and sprinkle in some speculation on what I think marvel studios is actually doing we've got a disney plus day coming out november 12th and next year will be a big year for comic cons as a lot of people will be coming to those things that didn't even go to them this year i think a lot more announcements will be made next year some of this stuff may be officially announced on disney plus day later this year but i think a lot of it will be coming out at big comic cons or maybe even a d23 next year and almost all of these reports came out from geeks worldwide which is a very reliable source and a lot of other great insiders were sharing this kind of stuff corroborating what's going on and so we think this is pretty accurate information and so here's a list of the many mcu projects that are apparently going into production in 2023 they are the fantastic four movie a nova movie in a koye series on disney plus a shang chi sequel which will be a movie a thunderbolts movie and a new secret project let's start at the end and let's talk about the secret project i can't help but think that this is going to be secret wars and that the idea of calling it a secret project is sort of a wink behind the camera at this big thing that is coming i've been telling you guys for some time i do believe that the russo brothers will return to marvel studios to do a secret wars movie and in the midst of the crazy legal battle with Scarlett Johansson and Disney about Black Widow, we did get a story that came out. And in that report, we essentially got it spelled out that the Russo brothers had intentions to return to Marvel Studios to do another project, but that was now in question due to the lawsuit between Scarlett Johansson and Disney. Luckily, that all got sorted out and they do look to be coming back to do this film. But, you know, there's been so much evidence that this is a big thing they want to do. They teased it out before they took their little break. There are even new articles out about plans for them to be coming back to Marvel Studios. The lawsuit thing really hints towards this. And in that new big book, The Making of Marvel Studios, it talks about them taking a break from Marvel or a little sabbatical and eventually that they will come back. So there's just so much evidence to suggest that that movie is going to happen. It will be a massive deal for the MCU. I think in many ways, it is where we are going with this crazy multiversal stuff. It'll likely be a different version than what we saw in the comics, but Jim Shooter was paid so that they could adapt parts of his original Secret War story into the cinema. I mean, the evidence is staring us right in the face i think that is what they are talking about i think maybe in a pre-rona world this movie would have come out in 2024 i think now it will likely come out in 2025 or beyond it but that's what i think the secret project is next let's talk about the thunderbolts this one has me very excited because it could eventually lead to dark avengers or it could replace dark avengers and just tell us the story of a more villainous group of sort of anti-heroes that all get together to help the earth and we've seen this be set up in falcon and the winter soldier and in black widow we've seen julia lewis dreyfus play the character of valentina contessa and she looks to be a pseudo replacement maybe for everett ross or maybe somebody that's working for everett ross as she goes out and recruits different members that we think will make up the thunderbolts and this is super cool for a lot of different reasons i love the thunderbolts team again it could lead us into some really interesting places where either Everett Ross or even a Norman Osborn becomes in control of that team and with the secret invasion story being played out in the Disney Plus series and then possibly even taking place in the Marvels the Captain Marvel sequel we could see the Thunderbolts movie 
being a really big deal for Marvel Studios, perhaps leading us to that Dark Avengers eventuality or some other big epic crossover event. Next, let's talk about the Okoye series. Don't really have a lot to say about this one. It's interesting that they're doing this series on Disney+. Plus. I do like this character. I like Wakanda and I like the lore there, but I'm not exactly sure why you would do a whole series just based on on that character especially considering that there's rumors that we're having another wakanda series on disney plus as well perhaps this will be more explained in wakanda forever and we'll have more details about that regardless interesting but not much to say about it next up we've got the shang chi sequel this is pretty freaking cool man now at the end of shang chi we do see him being recruited more or less into the avengers and so just like a lot of these other marvel movies we expect the sequel to be kind of like an avengers level movie likely looking more into what the 10 rings exactly are and possibly paying off that post credit scene where some kind of a signal is calling out there is this something calling out to like Gal Galactus or some other demonic being that might come to Earth and you'd see Shang-Chi realizing more of the power of Tao Lao, where his mother comes from and the Ten Rings and what that technology actually is, could this lead into something that takes us to Kang's multiversal war or to Secret Wars? I don't know, but there's a lot to love there. I really did like the Shang-Chi movie. I thought it was really cool. So excited that it's getting a sequel. I anticipate it to be an Avengers level threat and something really, really big with other characters. Now let's talk about the Nova movie, man. Richard Rider is such an epic character. We assume it will be the Richard Rider version of Nova that might then pass the baton on uh, to Sam later. That would be really cool. Either way, this is a character that Marvel has had on a short list of films they want to make for a long, long time. Feels like it's finally being made, and a lot of Nova fans are very excited about it. And it also would obviously explore out there in space and perhaps even be set up by something like the Marvels. And it frankly just reminds me of back in 2019 and even 2018 when we were speculating that Marvel's plan moving past Endgame was going to be split up into the space cosmos side of the universe and the earthbound side of the universe and some of the things we're hearing about the Eternals and the possible post credit scenes of that leave all sorts of very interesting things to be explored in the cosmic side of the MCU and it would be perfect for a character like Richard Rider to be playing around with some of those other characters as well and the Nova Corps to perhaps be more established or recreated after the events of Endgame and now let's finish off with talking about the Fantastic Four Obviously, a massive deal for Marvel Studios, Marvel's first family, a huge IP, and the characters within the Fantastic Four play a massive role in a lot of different Marvel storylines, including the most recent Secret Wars, and really just almost anything can be attached to the Fantastic Four, although they've had their own stories that are epic in their own right. If we are going to be doing something crazy like a multiversal war, and we're going to be dealing with Kang and all of these other crazy ideas, ideas having reed richards sue storm maybe even franklin richards and of course dr doom is really really important for the mcu moving forward this and the x-men or mutants projects are probably the most anticipated things for marvel studios and it's really wild that this project the movie itself will be going into production in 2023 this feels way faster than i anticipated as we don't even know a lot about quantum mania yet but it is rumored that you might get some hints at the fantastic four in quantum mania now the current rumor here as far as casting for that movie is that marvel is looking to cast almost all if not a large majority of that cast as diverse this is coming from fandom wire and andy signore and i think andy's got good sources he's likely onto something there that will of course be really cool for some people maybe not so cool for other people your mileage may vary on that for me it has way less to do with what the race of the actors are I need to know if they can embody the actual characters. So I'm waiting to see who will they cast in these roles? Could I see it? You know, could I see them as the comic book version of Reed, Sue, Doom, et cetera, et cetera, has way less to do with what race and more to do with the actors themselves. But again, your mileage may vary on that, but I think it's going to be a huge sort of signpost for where Marvel goes from here with how they will handle the Fantastic Four and how they will handle the X-Men or mutants. So, you know, 
just going to have to wait and see on that. But I will say this is a massive project. We'll likely be getting a lot more information as we get a little closer to that date of it going into production. And we'll be following every little leak, rumor, and just anything with the Fantastic Four. And again, guys, I strongly feel that all of these projects are being crafted with care. And they're being crafted in a way that will all come together in some big event. I do believe a multiversal war or a secret wars thing is happening. I think Kang will be a big part of that as teased out in Loki and probably expanded upon in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. But regardless, guys, all sorts of stuff coming, going into production in 2023. It, we'll be covering it all here. So subscribe to this channel, of course, because we'll be following all the little details and rumors. Smash like on this video if you liked it. And again, I want to tell you, get on over to the live streaming channel, man. We have a blast over there. And of course, let me know your thoughts about all these different projects coming into the MCU in the comments section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video.